Yes, we're at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms this morning and we're talking about worms, beneficial versus harmful. This is a fire worm. Got a lot of questions about these and uh, this is something that's not good for your aquarium and not good for your health. It's about eight inches long, really thick. Put my finger down there for comparison but not too close because they have these uh, bristles, these projections. They're technically they're called setae. Uh, they're, they're like little fiberglass uh, needles sticking out the side and there's hundreds and hundreds of them. That's their defense mechanism that keeps them from being eaten from most fishes, though not all. And if you happen to handle one of these, uh, those bristles are going to stick in your finger and hurt like hell. So you don't want those around. You don't want them in your aquarium. Take my advice. On the other hand, these are a different species. These are tiny, uh, smaller worms, and these are thin. You can handle them, you can touch them, um, and uh, they will breed in your tank. They don't overtake the sand bed or anything. They just, they're like earthworms. They just consume organic material and help aerate the sand bed. So these are beneficial bristle worms, small and thin. Fire worms are long and thick dangerous and nasty and to be avoided at all costs. Aloha.